with Spring Cleaning Week on PTL and today we are actually going to tackle a lot of places that you may not commonly see, but springtime is the great time to do it. And I'm actually here with Rich from Square One Home Inspection. And Rich, you're going to actually tackle a few things, but let's start with the roof. Okay, sure, sure. So the gutters are especially important to clean because if you don't, they get clogged. Water can overflow and dump next to your foundation, which can cause water infiltration to the basement and cause foundation damage. So it's important to clean the gutters. Well, I'm embarrassed to say that we've lived here for about two years and we have not touched the gutters. So I am scared to see what you're going to find up there. Rich. All right, <laughs> we'll see what's up here. All right. Okay, okay, Daisy, you're in big trouble. Okay, uh -oh. you got a bunch, you got leaves all over the place. And most importantly, watch out here, they're yep. clogging up your downspout. And so you always want to make sure you clean all these leaves out. And here's a good little thing you can get. This costs less than $2. It's a strainer. You just put this thing together, stick it in your, stick it right there in the downspout oh. drop, and it'll keep leaves from clogging up your downspout. Yep. While I'm up here, I see you have a lot of moss and organic growth and algae growing on your shingles, okay? That's something you can easily take care of as well. They sell commercially available products, solutions that you can just spray on there and forget about it. And you just let the rain wash it away or you can use a hose to wash it off eventually. But it doesn't cost much and you don't have to pay a company a bunch of money to come out and do it for you. So we moved inside and now we're in the kitchen which is probably one of the most commonly used spaces in the house. But we're gonna first tackle the garbage disposal and you have an easy tip with ice. Yeah, this is a really good easy tip. So here's what you do. You just take this rubber gasket out, if you can get it out. If you can't, you know, you can do this without. As long as you can get the ice down in the disposal. Ugh, so you look dump, how gross. dump the ice down there. You know, the more the better, dump it down in there. All right, and run, run a little bit water. of water. Yep, run some water and then so turn the disposal. Some ice. You got a whole thing of ice right there. Yep. And then oh. So what is this doing? Just Oh, there you go, there you go. Gross. Okay, shut it off for a second. Ew. That's disgusting. Those arms fling food around and they get stuck on the walls, okay? So you need something to clear that off. And that'll spin around and shoot that ice around and clear off all that food on the walls. Okay, so all refrigerators have condenser coils, okay? So they, they help keep the refrigerator cool, basically. They okay. dissipate heat, okay? So and if they're covered with dirt and dust and dog hair and stuff, they can't do their job, right? Yeah. So it's gonna cause your refrigerator to keep cycling on and cycling off trying to keep your refrigerator cold. So it's important to keep these things clean. In order to do that first, unplug the refrigerator, okay? And then you take, there's gonna be a panel cover that you have to take off. Sometimes it's in the front, sometimes it's in the back, sometimes you gotta take both off. So, you know, get yourself a vacuum like this. Okay. And some, they make special brushes, but you know, whatever you gotta do to get as much dust off of these things as you can, and it'll help your refrigerator run more efficiently. Yeah, this one re looks relatively new, right? So there's not too much dust on there. So another super easy fix is replacing the furnace filter, but that's not something you should wait until springtime to do, right? No, I, I tell everybody change it every season, every few months, yeah. okay? So you just take it out, it's real easy. Now this one here was replaced just a month ago. So you see how dirty it is already. So, wow, you know, yeah. got, so definitely every few months. Okay? okay. So you just take a photo of these measurements, go okay. to Lowe's or Home Depot, get the same measurements. And then when you put it in, just make sure that arrow is pointing the direction of the airflow you want. Okay. Well, Rich, thank you so much for all of your help. I mean, yeah. I think I'm ready to roll up my sleeves and there's get a lot I got to do. That's right. That's right. <laughs> You know, sometimes you don't want to do these things, but then you do them and it's so like there's peace of mind that you've just done like some of the really hard, gross stuff around your house. It's you didn't want to do it. It yeah. really is when you know that that's accomplished. I just wish, wish Rich could come to all our houses and talk us through. Nice. Yes. And so many areas that you could forget. So pretty good tips there to help you through the process. Yeah, yeah that's important. All right. Tomorrow, Katie is diving into air ducts. She's hoping to give Daisy a run for her money when it comes to the dirtiest assignment of spring cleaning week. And for more info on these tips and more cleaning hacks, just go to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.